Welcome back, everybody. This is our third part to uh, How to Build an Extraordinary Life. I appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, third part of Building an Extraordinary Life, in my perspective anyway. Uh, third part is you have to land. You have to land. You have to land on something. You have to, you have to be the guy, the gal, the person who is consistent. Consistency to me is the guy or the, or the person who swings the ax. Uh, swinging the axe, hitting the tree in the same place repetitively, Ma making sure that I, I, I know where I'm at, I know what I want, and in order to get that, I have to hit this thing in the same thing, right? I got a buddy of mine who's finishing up his master's degree right now. I think he's, I, I don't know, maybe a week away at this point in, in, in December, and uh, I've watched him over the course of the last you know, 15, 18 months and just take a beating, just, 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 just take a beat down, right? Uh, University of Georgia, um, he, he's getting his master's degree in finance, but I've just watched him. But he, here's, what I, here's what I have seen, is that in order to get the master's degree, you have to be consistent. Hey man, we're going out, we wanna go hang out, let's eat, let's, let's have a good time. Yeah, okay, well, give me about two hours, because I've gotta put this in, I've gotta get this done, because I've landed on something, and my consistency is that every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. That's Tony Robbins' deal. He said, Tony Robbins says he walks in the mornings, and he, he tells himself every day, in every way, I'm getting stronger and wiser. The only way to do that, the only way to build this uh, extraordinary life that you want to build is you have to land on something. You have to land. Like, you, you, and you, most of you have seen the movie Up, the animated movie Up, where the talking dog has the voice box on his throat, and whatever he thinks about uh, comes out, right? So he's talking, and if you watch the movie, you'll see this dog. He's talking, and he's in a sentence, you know, da-da-da-da-da, and he turns, squirrel. And he does this repetitively, right? Repetitively. So... <laughs> I, and I know you're not the person, but I do know people that, that have the squirrel mentality. We call, it, we, we call them squirrel chasers, right? They have the mentality that, here's, here's where it boils down to, it's, it's, it's FOMO. It's FOMO. If, if I could walk back there and write it on the board, I'd write F-O-M-O. -O. Fear of missing out, right? All, all my Bitcoin investors, raise your hand, right? Everybody that bought Bitcoin at 30,000, raise your hand out there. Fear of missing out. All, all my buddies, man, this crypto is going to take over the world. You know, this, 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 then this. And, and, and I'm 50 now. I've seen this 10 million times, right? You, you see it repeated over and over. It, it doesn't have to be crypto, right? Everybody looks back and say, well, I wish I would have bought Bitcoin at, at $3. Well, well, everybody does. But, but, but he, here's what I want you to get. In order to build an extraordinary life, you don't have to do what everyone else does. You don't have to be what everybody else is being. You don't have to get your master's degree or your doctor's degree. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just have to land. You have to, but you, you do have to land on something. You have to land in a place that you go, this may not be the end, but it is the now. It, here, here's the story. I'm going to take you back. One of, one, one, one of my, 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 uh, my mentors of the time, we were sitting down to a lunch meeting, and he tells me, uh, we're, we're having this conversation, and I'm in a conundrum at the time. We're losing everything we have, and I'm just in this mental, you know, perplexity. Here's what I want, and it's not working. And here's what I have, and it's falling apart. And so we're talking, and I'm shedding my uh, tears or whatever you want to call it. I'm giving it all I got. And here's what he says. He says, uh, what, what, what can you do? I said, well, I, I can do this real estate gig over here. I mean, I know how to do that. I know how to make money in real estate. And he said, why don't you do that and shut the hell up? You might have to edit that out, but this is what he said. Why don't you do that and just shut the hell up? And it took me back, right? Was, you know, we kind of threw me back a little bit. And I said, uh, 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 okay. And here's what he said. He said, do what you have in front of you to do and let God do his own job. Let, let God work out the details of how he's going to get you where you presuppose you need to go. So what I did was I, I took it to heart and I went full force into what was in front of me. 
what was in front of me to do, I did it with everything I had. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing the squirrel syndrome. I wasn't looking, well, this guy's doing something different. I just did what I knew to do. And I chopped the tree every day. I chopped the tree every day. I have hundreds of people that come to me every year. I remember a conversation a couple weeks ago and the guy said, well, how do you get here? And I said, I don't know. Cause all I did was the same thing every day. Well, how do you get to bench 400 pounds? You, you just bench press every week, right? You just show up at the gym. So half the battle is showing up because most people don't show. And when they do show, they're, they're thinking about something else. As an entrepreneur and a, and, a, and a CEO, I have so many people come to me wanting me to make them rich, wanting me to make them successful, and they can't stay at a job. They can't even work for us for six months. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if you can't land anywhere, you look at their resume and they've jumped ship every 12 to 18 months over the last 12 years, and then they wonder why I'm only making this much money. Why haven't I hit the moon? I've got all these degrees and all these diplomas and all these um, whatever, accolades, if you will. And I, I can't seem to get where I'm going. Well, you haven't landed. Consistency is the measure of the prelude to success. You have to be consistent. Nobody hands you a degree because you're cute. Right? Nobody hands you the million dollars or the jet plane or the yacht or whatever it is that you say that you want or what qualifies you to have an extraordinary life. Whatever that may be, you have to land. You have to become the expert in whatever your field of, of opportunity is. You have to be the expert. If you're a farmer, be the best farmer. If you're a podcaster and an influencer, be the best. Or at least shoot for the best. But don't every day of your life, you can't switch gears. We have to get settled. Here, here's what the Bible says. Those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Now watch this. They shall still bring forth fruit when they're old. They will be fat and flourishing. So I think fat and flourishing is the epitome of an extraordinary life. Fat means I've got excess. Flourishing means all my stuff is blooming when it's supposed to bloom. That, that's it. That's it. But you have to land. You have to be planted in something. Well, what if this is not my right thing, Darren? What if this is not my, 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 my end all be all? doesn't matter. N none of that matters. You're trying to fix the end result instead of fixing the internal dialogue or language or monologue, if you will. And the first thing you've got to do is be consistent in something because it's the discipline that creates the miracles. If you'll land, you'll learn something you've never learned. Here's what Jim Rohn said. He said, don't ask for the million dollars for what it can buy. Ask for the million dollars for what it can make of you in acquiring the million dollars. But in order to get there, you've got to land on something. You have to be identifiably present and consistent in the swinging of the axe. Listen, guys, you want to build an extraordinary life? We want to help. I want to help you. you got to land. you got to be consistent at something. You can't be swayed. One Bible verse says not being blown around with every wind of language that comes about. You, you've got to stay. You've got to be in your lane figuring out your deal. That's what we're here to help you to do. Listen, this, this was, this was a, a great time for us today. I appreciate you stopping by. If you, if you get anything from this, I want you to realize that your consistency will create your miracle. Be a life leader wherever you are. Thanks for coming.